Hello and welcome to the second part of this pipe game tutorial. Today we are going to be creating some new files and moving our code around to make it a little bit more readable. That way we can start advancing it. So let's get started. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to grab our character sheet that we're going to need later on to place the character on the screen. So let's go ahead and download it. I've left a link in the description below that will just take you to my free assets website. It should pop up like this. Okay, you just right click and save image as, and then find your folder that your game is in, and then go ahead and paste it right there in the folder. Of course, make sure it's saved as a PNG file. Okay, so when we come back to our game, the character.png file should be there. So now we're able to use it. So next we're gonna go ahead and make some more PY files that we can use for our game. We are going to make a config file. So let's just go ahead and do new file config.py, right click and create new, let's do sounds.py, let's do another one, let's do map.py, do another one called map. Build.py. Then we're going to do player.py and animation.py and sprites.py. And that should be it for now. We might have to come back and make more. So let's go back to our main.py. And first thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and start organizing some of our code. So let's go ahead and take all of this right here, these four lines. We're going to control X and take it over to our config file and move it here. Let's go ahead and do our imports. So let's go ahead and do from sounds, import all from player, import, all, map build, import, all, import, app, from sprites. Okay, so I misspelled sprites here. So let's refactor, rename. Sprites factor. So from sprites, import all from config, import all. So that should be all of our imports for this file. So let's go ahead and move some more stuff around. So we're going to go ahead and take our sprite sheet and our ground. Let's go ahead and control X, move that over to our sprite.py. Okay, now you'll notice some errors populate, so we need to do some importing here. So let's go ahead and import iGame from config, import all, import random from animation. Import all and import map. And actually, I want to change that to maps. So refactor, rename maps because we're going to create more than one world. So refactor, make sure that it's correct over here. Import maps. Okay, we're good. Okay, so we should be good with the sprite sheet for now. So let's go back to our main. Let's go ahead and take our build map function and take it out of here and put it in our map build.py. And then on our map build, we want to do from player import all from sprites import all. Okay, let's go over here, see what else we got. Okay, the tile map. Let's go ahead and put that in our maps file. 
So we're going to control X to cut it. And we go over to maps. And here we're going to change this a little bit. We are going to actually create a class called world one. one. And then in here, we're going to create stage one. And this will set us up where we can add more levels to our game later on. So let's go ahead and create the list here. And paste the tile map in there. Actually, we need to go ahead and delete this there and then delete that extra bracket. So now we got our first stage and we can add more stages later on. Of course, now when we go back to our code on main.py, we've got an error here for tile map. That's because we moved the maps out and changed the name. So let's go ahead and create where whenever it first starts our game, we want it to put us on stage one. So we'll go ahead and do tile map equals maps dot world one dot stage one. And that will reference our map that we just moved into the maps. So now it cleared out our error. Let's verify that everything's good. Okay, so real quick, you'll notice when we look at our character PNG that the background's black. If we don't ignore that, it's going to create a black background whenever we actually place this onto the screen. So we need to do a color key in order to get rid of that. So let's go into our sprite sheet and then we will add a new line here and go sprite dot set color key and then we'll do black. The game will automatically know what that is. So all you got to do is just put it in the quotes. Okay, so we should be done with our sprites.pui now. We're not going to do anything with animation on this part of the tutorial, so we'll go ahead and close that. At player.py, we've got a lot of work to do in here. So first thing we'll do is we'll import Pygame from sprites, import all, import maps, From sounds, import all, import random, and let's start creating our player class. So we'll do class player iGame dot sprite dot sprite, and then we'll define in it to initialize our player class, and in here we need to bring in game, x, and y. This will make it where whenever we create our map, it'll go ahead and plug all this information in for us. So self game equals game self dot underscore layer equals player layer. Of course, we got to go ahead and create this. What we'll do is we'll number our layers so it knows what order to draw. So we'll have like, it'll first draw our background, then it'll draw some like pieces of the map. And then we want to make our player drawn on top of everything. So let's make it our last one. So we'll go into our config file and create player layer equals five. That should clear that up. So now let's go back into our player, it clears out our error. So we'll do self.groups equals self.game dot all sprites i game dot sprite dot sprite dot double underscore in it self and self dot groups. Then we'll do self dot x self dot y equals x and y so I'll pull our starting position from the information from our build map so now we'll do self dot width and self dot height equals tile size tile size better create the width and the height according to the tile size we created on the last tutorial so now we'll do self dot x change equals zero 
self dot y change equals zero self dot facing which we'll use in our animation self dot animation loop equals one which will start our animation loop over whenever it's initialized self dot image equals self dot game dot character sprite sheet dot get sprite we'll do zero zero self dot width self dot height This will pull this from the image at these positions, but we still need to create our character sprite sheet. So let's go back to our main and go into our game and let's just put it right here with the terrain sprite sheet. So let's do self dot character sprite sheet. Cool sprite sheet. And then we'll pull our file in. So it'll be character.png. Okay, so we go back to our player and let's continue. So we've got to do self.rect equals self.image.getrect. We'll make it interpreted as a rectangle so it can find the edges. Self.rect.x self.rect.y equals self.x and self.y. So that should be everything for our player class so far. But we still have to get it to where it'll actually place it on the map. Because if you'll notice when we push play, well, our map still doesn't show our player. So we have to go in to build maps, and we actually have to add a new if statement inside of our build map. So what we'll do is we'll go if column equals E. Then we'll go and build a self.player from the player class. We'll call it self, j, and i. So it will plug in the coordinates according to where it's at when it finds this e. So we need to actually create this e. And actually, you know what? I want to change this to p for player. So we want it to find this p on our map. So we go to our maps and let's just place our P right here in the middle of our map. So let's backspace and push P there. Let's just place them right there. So when we push play, our character gets punched up here in the corner. So what's happening is, is it's actually trying to just count the pixels over and down according to our position on our map and place it there. So let's go ahead and modify that by going into our player class and we need to multiply our x by tile size and our y by tile size and this should move it where we want it to be so we'll try to run it again it's way over here so sometimes to initialize you can either fight with this and try to figure out where you want it to be located at or you can just go ahead and take your display and cut it in half to set them in the center Okay, so if our screen is 600 up and down and 800 across, then we can actually go in here and do half of each of those. So our width 800, so 400 would be half of that. And then we can take our height and do like 300, half of that. And that'll place our character in the middle. Or at least a lot closer. Of course, it starts to draw on the top left corner. So the top left corner is the center of the screen. You can tweak with this if you want to, but for now I think this will work out for us. And that will end this part of the Pi Game tutorial. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe so that we can go ahead and start moving into some more cool stuff on the next part of this tutorial. Thanks for viewing.